think I am on time. In fact, uh, upstairs right now, Matt was sitting there ready to uh, ready to type in and let the world know, where's Drew? He's late. I am not late. I am here. Audio, audio check, mic check. Anyhow. Well, if you're watching live, that is the way to watch. If you're watching on Restream, welcome. Domain to Profit is best consumed live with the community, with all these people here, like, harassing me. But that's okay. It's out of love. It's out of love. So, and here's one of them. I'm talking about Jeffrey here. Pat, like, where's Drew? Hey, come on, Jack. It's all good. It's all good. I love it. Love it. Yeah, I was, I was literally just upstairs. We we have a, a big week coming up, and uh, uh, essentially we got uh, me, my entire team, uh, the t entire Towing.com team. We are going to Baltimore, Maryland, uh, for a tow show, a towing convention. It's really big, and uh, especially being Towing.com, it's really important that we're there, and it is a great opportunity. To see thousands of towing companies. I'll tell you what, like, it, I've, I've mentioned this last, if you're going to be in Baltimore, if you're in Baltimore and want to swing by, we'll get you in. Uh, I'm, I believe we get people in free. So uh, so let us know. Uh, and you can come in and see these giant tow trucks that uh, towers use. Like, uh, a lot of people think of uh, towing as like the, the, that one company that impounded you when, you when you were in college and you hate them. And, uh, but realistically, towing and towers are, they keep the highways moving, man. They do some amazing stuff. They are truly like a privatized hero that's out there uh, saving lives and keeping uh, the highways uh, clear. So in, in towing ramp, well, I am Drew Wash. <laughs> I hear bitterness. <laughs> well, I am Drew Wash, and this is Domain to Profit. And we are going to be looking through domain names. In fact, we are going to be looking through domain names, and even better, we're going to be looking for the best possible domain names. So the entire time as you get here, let us know what industry you want to look at. We can go searching through an industry this time instead of necessarily just going with the domain names as they are in front of us. We will certainly look through the best domain names available this week through expiring auctions but we will also, I'm open to going for a, a wild search, looking for a domain name in your industry, looking for the best domain name. So what does that look like? Well, it's gonna look through searching through the expiring domains. It's gonna look like filtering out the hundreds of thousands of domain names, looking for a domain name that would work for you, that is not available to the public yet. Uh, but then it's also going to be, what would the be best domain name for your industry be? And if you don't have any suggestions for industries, I'm going to make them up as I go along. So I'm, I'm pretty good at that. Well, we are going to get started here. If you're joining us, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you let us know in chat that you're joining us live so all the community can welcome you in. This is Domain to Profit. I'm Drew Wash. I am so glad you're here. Let's get things going. Profit, domain to profit from a dot com to a business idea. Take a domain name, develop an income from domain to profit. We'll show you how. Domain to profit from domain to profit. Join Drew Wash and get started right now. Such an abrupt cutoff anymore. But uh, I was letting you know, Jeffrey's out there. Uh, Mess with me. Uh, we got uh, Chaz up there. He was trying to stall me so Matt could come in and say that uh, that he was saying, and yes, there's bitterness uh, about uh, being on time and things. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it is November 4th. Uh, yeah, November 14th. Tomorrow's my wife's birthday, if anybody cares. I got my uh, my water cup, Valley Solutions. That's, that's my uh, domain holding company. Uh, these are cups that I, like some of the earliest swag we ever did back years and years and years ago. Oh, anyhow, found him up in the cabinet, decided to, to use it. So, well, we are going to be looking through expiring domain names. What the heck is that? Well, they're domain names that somebody out there registered. They loved for that brief moment when they had that dream of what they can do on that domain name. But then that dream died in the form of them not renewing the domain name. Well, what happens to those domain names? 
they end up here. They end up going through the expiring pro uh, process where the domain name, it, it expires, and then it goes into a uh, redemption mode where only the existing owner can renew it. And then it goes through a, <coughs> excuse me, that was probably really loud, I'm sorry. Uh, then it goes through a, uh, a pending delete, and then after that it deletes. So before it ever hits that delete moment though, most registrars out there, as you likely know, if you join me on a weekly basis here on Domain to Profit, those domain names go through auctions. So in many cases, domain names, lots of people want the best domain names. So how do you decide? You can do it by just the first one to register it, which is what happens to some domains. But most registrars are smart enough to go like, hey, let's uh, put this through auction and that way we can make some money before this goes uh, back to the public. That is what, the, what happens, and that is what we're doing here. In fact, let me just pull up. This is expireddomains.net. I have here 91,000 domain names. Yeah, 91,000 domain names that are expiring this week before next Monday. And uh, this top one here, arizonaguide.com is currently pulling down $16,000 is the uh, the price. So over $16,000 is currently what ArizonaGuide.com is going for. And uh, from my understanding, that is a complete search engine optimization play, which is not my thing, but, you know, yeah, some, for some people it is. If you want to suck up to Google with your $16,000 domain name, go for it. That's not a bad domain name either, though. I, I don't mind Arizona Guide. So how Domain to Profit works is we typically come here to expireddomains.net, free site, set up an account, use it. They only make money when you click on a domain name and then buy it or get it at auction. Uh, so you should definitely do that. It does not cost you more to use this. So I highly encourage people to use expireddomains.net, a fun free service for sure. Uh, but what we do is we come in and we filter out the marketplace so go to marketplace domain names and then godaddy and godaddy expired domains right over there is where you'll see here's where we a lot of times spend our time but as you can see there's lots there's a whole world of wonder out here in the domain world uh, there are uh, catch domain names drop catch catch is what you call a domain name that is deleting and it's not going to go to auction because that registrar don't play that game so instead it is first come, first serve, baby, and people turn loose entire servers just rapidly trying to register that domain name. And in most cases, when they get that, if they get a great domain, it goes up for auction. So that's what drop catch is, is they will uh, allow you to put back orders on pending delete domains. And then, actually, let's just go over to drop catch. So I'm clicking on drop catch there, and you will see here, right here on top right now, uh, fi fair rate, let's see here. Yeah, you can see those are my shoulder. So instant gratification. Okay, we're clicking on that one, folks. Instant gratification. Uh, one day left on this one, $360. So what is instantgratification.com? This is over here on dropcatch.com. Well, I let you know the world looks for instant gratification. Uh, so with this domain name, uh, one of the things we do here on Domain to Profit is talk about uh, how to use that domain name to make a profit. What can you do on instant gratification? Well, it's a common phrase, right? We, uh, we hear this uh, usually as a bad thing. It's a lot of times in marketing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go check out spyfoo.com. And that is where we are right here. This is spyfoo.com. This is a tool that you can get some free data from. And we are breaking apart instant gratification. We drop the dot com. Instant gratification is two different words. Do a keyword search. This gives us data for that domain name, for that keyword phrase. So now it's no longer just, ooh, Drew's interested in this day, domain name. Instead, it becomes whether the domain name has people searching for it, whether people are trying to get to whatever the topic and content of instant gratification is. So I'm going to come in, do a control F, 
and then highlight it. So uh, I don't, I believe that shows up in the screen above me. Control F on your browser opens up find on the page. Then you put those keywords in there again. Now what you see is everything lit up. It's like Christmas up on here and everything is lit up. Instant gratification, 7,800 searches for instant gratification available on the search engines. Okay, so that means you have an audience searching for a domain name that you can buy. Instant gratification, they're, they're searching for it. Uh, and then 7,800 searches a month. And then over here, we see similar keywords that are provided by uh, SpyFu here. So instant gratification, 7,800. Instant gratification monkey, uh, not entirely sure what that is. Instant gratification definition, another 1,100. Uh, quotes about instant gratification, 600. Um, let's see here, what is instant gratification? Instant gratification through social media use. Uh, basically, people are searching for content. They have questions. They're looking and defining what instant gratification is, whatever that is. Either way, thousands of people are searching for it. And now you could possibly own the domain name and define what that looks like. So uh, what might you put on instantgratification.com? Glad you asked. That is where this third column here under the questions, this here is what people are searching for question-wise. So what is instant gratification? 400 searches. How to overcome instant gratification. God bless that person. They are trying to make long-term decisions, which I believe is an important piece of success, is overcoming instant gratification. So bless those uh, 135 people. I hope they learn to postpone gratification. In fact, I believe they say number one factor in success is a willingness to postpone gratification, postpone reward. Just a little simple tip for you there. Who came up with instant gratification? I'm pretty sure our monkey brains did. Um, and then, okay, so there's other questions and so on. Put these questions up on your site, allow others to answer them, or you answer them yourself, and that is some of the content you can place on your website. Let's see if there's any money involved. So this is why I love SpyFu. Not only are we looking into the keyword search, now we get to look over here at some of the money. Okay, this is, th this is one of the key sections for valuing a domain name. We know 7,600 people a month are searching for instant gratification. What can we do with that domain name? Not entirely sure yet. Uh, there's probably some people that are looking for instant happiness, looking for like a, a, some kind of fix of like uh, dopamine or something like uh, who knows what that looks like? Uh, so maybe there's a way to sell a product, sell as seen on TV things. Who knows? Uh, but the thing is, is money-wise, not really a whole lot happening here. So what what does that look like? Well, in theory, there's people paying a dollar ten to advertise for this. A dollar ten right here. Yeah, that's great, no. Except for if you look, there's no advertisers. So. Somebody comes on every once in a while, maybe pays for it. So not really much money moving through. I talk about each week, uh, I, want to, uh, I want to see uh, double-digit advertisers. I like to see 10 or more advertisers, $2 or more per click. We're not seeing that here. What we are seeing is a keyword-rich domain name with thousands of people looking for the keyword. That gives you uh, some potential. That definitely means there's value associated with it. Um, uh, I will be probably, I've been on this a little bit. Something tells me I won't be the one that gets it. But I would love to own instantgratification.com. $360 currently over on dropcatch.com. Uh, so there you go, dropcatch.com, instant gratification. Piano sounds. Let's step over that out of the way a little. So all this to say, this is what Domain to Profit is. We are looking at these domain names. They are available to you. Like you can outbid me on the auction if you like it. So if you are working in something instant gratification, I, I'm trying to think of what um, I'm trying to think of what that would be used for. Yeah, anyhow. 
So instant gratification, I, that's, that's, I don't know how you'd make money off it. Kind of curious, you can always share it out in the chat, share it out with the others that are out there, uh, or keep the business idea to yourself and go for it. Mortgage Direct. Mortgage, is that how you spell it? Mortgage. No, I guess that's not. So Empire Filter. Mature Mommy. Mammy. Okay. Well, a lot of times drop catch is not our primary one. We actually do uh, GoDaddy expired domains primarily because there's so many of them versus the uh, dozen or so that you have here on Dropcatch. Well, Dropcatch actually provides a service where they go and, like, the domain name is pending delete, and they're one of the ones that run those servers that are just trying to get a domain name, and they only try to get the domains that somebody puts a back order on, uh, and then if multiple people put a back order on it, that's when it goes up for auction. So uh, interesting service that they have there. Let's head back over to GoDaddy expired auctions. Uh, let's look at filters real quick. We don't do this every week, but we'll do it uh, this week because we're going to be moder monitoring. Slow down. <laughs> we are going to be spending a little bit of time uh, changing filters today as we look for specific industries. So if you have a specific industry that you're looking for the best domain names available or possible to get for that industry, you can feel free to share it into the uh, chat if you're willing to, otherwise I'm gonna probably make some stuff up or go fishing. So when we're looking at these filters here though, we get rid of numbers and hyphens. We look at English words, one to three each, uh, that's right back here. We look at these one to three words uh, in English. Feel free to modify for whatever language you prefer. English, of course, being the main one in .com. Other countries have some extensions that could be more popular only play in the areas that you are familiar with for sure. And then we're only looking at the domain names that are over the next, we say eight days, that's just gonna include the domain names that expire before the show on Monday. So that was 91,000. And then we go over to the additional tab, right up in there, click on additional. And then that is where we add in this here, which is .com only. We're only looking for .com domain names but Drew, why are you only looking for .com domains? .com domains are the primary domain name that gives the owner authority and the validation and the access to industry. Having instantgratification.com, ooh, impressive. Instantgratification.net, eh, that's kind of cool. Like having the .com, if you own anything other than the .com, you're always going to be looking and trying to reach for that .com. So for the sake of this show, we look at .com primarily, uh, actually almost exclusively. So the filter wise, it's exclusive. So we apply the filters that we set up and as you can see here, 89,000 domain names are where we are. So, and uh, the list by default is ordered by any number of different things we filter by that over there, which is valuation. And as you likely hear each week, valuation is not the actual value of the domain name. It is a mathematical number assigned by GoDaddy as kind of how important it is to show up. And uh, so in most cases, domain names are worth less. Sometimes they're worth way more than what GoDaddy lists there. Uh, so just keep that in mind. That number, if you go and pay that amount, you're going to go broke very quickly so uh, it just helps us bring the best ones to the top that's why we order by it let's see fide.com chess players ranking okay i guess somebody's uh matt's mentioning uh i'll, I'll share it out to the screen so people can see it uh it's fide.com I'm wondering where, where are we going to see that at? I, I don't know. Or are you saying they'll go look for chess-related domain names, which we can certainly do that as well. Well, we know that chess.com is owned by, uh, well, chess.com. It is developed in the primary place to go for chess, just like towing.com, the primary place to go for towing. Let's just do this. Like, that, that's all we got to do. Yeah, I don't know how you would make instant gratification a place to go for instant gratification. Good luck with that. Okay. Hair straightener. 
a product domain name. That's not a bad one. Let's see what it's uh, currently priced for. Uh, I remember one time I was in Puerto Rico and my wife forgot her hair straightener and she found a place to buy a hair straightener in the middle of San Juan, which that was fun. Uh, anyhow, hairstraightener.com, $120 currently, ends in six days over on GoDaddy Auctions. Let's go see if this is uh, what's happening with this domain name. So as you might imagine, if you are, uh, if you work, if you sell a product, a hair straightener, for example, hairstraightener.com is probably the best damn domain name you can get for that uh, industry. So I'm going to highlight this and close, do a control F. So now we highlight it, hairstraightener.com. And as you can already see, big numbers showing up under hairstraightener.com. If you thought 7,800 searches for instant gratification was good, you're probably going to be pretty impressed with the 12,300 monthly searches for hair straightener right there. That's pretty big. So we did the control F and we are highlighting the keywords here in the middle of similar uh, best hair straightener. I think that is excellent content to find on hairstraightener.com. Create a thing that people can rate and review and show hair straighteners. And you're picking up not just the 1,230 or 12,300 searches for hair straightener, but now you're picking up another 7,100. That's just content. You're not guaranteed this traffic, but you know that you're getting a domain name that is giving you access to that traffic. That is the key piece. You can build on any different domain name out there, uh, and you can build on uh, xyzhairproducts.com perfectly fine. You can go after this keyword and try to target it, but when your ad shows up and it's right next to an ad that has hairstraightener.com underneath it, you're going to lose. Like hairstraightener.com is the more authoritative, validating domain name, giving you access to the industry. Does Dyson make a hair straightener? Who knows? Okay, well, here you go. Thousands of other domain or uh, keywords available as well, as well as this third column over here, how to straighten hair. Boom, content for your site. How to curl your hair with a straightener. That is an interesting search. 1,500 people are searching for. And uh, there you go. Let's go check out the money because ultimately 12,300 searches, not a big deal if there's no money involved. I have a feeling we'll find some though. Yeah, there's a little bit of money. Okay. Look at this. So, okay. So we're not seeing the numbers that I like to see. Uh, and that means I want to see advertisers 10 or more. I want to see cost per click at $2 or more. But you'll typically see that when it comes to a product, these numbers are lower. At least the uh, cost per click is. The margins on products are way lower than what it is on services. That's part of why you see that. Uh, but, the, I mean, those are pretty good numbers. What I was really impressed by or interested in here is, so the search volume, there's a couple hundred thousand people searching for hair straightener. A couple hundred thousand. So what's the difference? What's that uh, the disparity, that, that middle of uh, why is it only 12,000 available up here on SpyFu? Well, that is because SpyFu is doing a bunch of magic. They're looking at how Google displays this keyword uh, in the searches and so on to decide uh, how much traffic's actually available for you to possibly target. So a lot of that traffic, a lot of those searches are going to go off to maybe uh, local listings or ads. And uh, SpyFu comes in and, and takes all that into account and says, hey, yeah, 200,000 people are looking for this topic, but 12,000 are really available. But why that big number down there on the bottom does matter is that's your total audience. That's your total market is that 200 you know, 200,000 that we have going on here. So not bad, right? 200,000, that's, I, I'll tell you right now, I think towing is like 130,000. So that is a bigger keyword than towing.com. Uh, now I will say it's, it's two, uh, two words. It is a longer domain name. So it's certainly not going to be the uh, six figure domain name that towing.com is. But I mean, especially if you work in uh, hair products, seems like a pretty darn good domain. 
that one is certainly going to earn a, uh, a watch list from me and possibly a bid here in six days when that ends. Uh, Hairstraightener.com over in GoDaddy Auctions. Not a bad domain name at all. Uh, so what would we put on the, the website as far as business-wise? Uh, well, you're going you're gonna to be, you're likely not going to go and become a seller of hair straighteners, right? Like a, a, lot, of, a lot of times uh, people think like, hey, if I bought hairstraightener.com, a private label, some hair straighteners and this and that. Like I say, you're here on Domain to Profit. You're looking to take a domain name and turn it into a profit. You're not here to freaking get into the hair straightener business, right? Like that would be like, um, it's just excessive. It's it's going too far out there. You want to take a domain name, make money. Well, what are people looking for? That's why we talk about what content you can put on it. As you start to generate that content, now instead of selling a product, you partner with and advertise for the companies that do sell or ha sell hair straighteners. So the value you bring to the world is you make hairstraightener.com the best damn place to go to find Find out information, ratings, and in, like basically everything about hair straighteners, right? And now you create that great portal for people to find out more about a hair straightener. And now you're going to have that authoritative site. And you didn't have to do anything but put the system in place uh, for the people that do make money from selling products. You're just giving them a place to shine. That is the business model I would go for. Uh, I like hairstraightener.com. There we go. Two good domains so far. I like it. I like it. Uh, see the chat. Uh, Matt's talking about the uh, world champion. The, he's, he's such a chess guy. He's such a chess guy. Five world champion. Not like. There you go. He, he's only sharing it because he doesn't like it enough to get it himself. I know how you work, man. <laughs> I like Deal Buddy. If I'm not mistaken, this was already going for a decent amount of money. Yeah, six fifty ends in three days. Uh, Deal Buddy. Deal Buddy. Com would be more of that. Uh, it's a brandable. It's a what is Deal Buddy? Well, I expect it to be something that helps me find deals, maybe uh, overstock or clearance products. Uh, maybe it's an app or something that kind of watches for uh, opportunities for you to get a deal. Who knows? Not quite that straightforward development. Uh, and if we do this, if we take this and search it in SpyFu, you'll see how this domain name varies and is way different from uh, from a hairstraightener.com. You, you know, 55 searches. It's probably a flu that anybody searches for uh, There's not going to be the money down here. Yet. No advertisers, no money. Uh, so this is something where where, hey, your domain name is internet real estate. It's a blank lot, build whatever you want to on it. Right? So you can take dealbody.com, empty real estate, and build your empire on it. Build your app, build your website, whatever it is, just try to load on, on it. You do that. Go, go for it. The domain that we're typically looking for, who shows us, is there, there's domain names that have like resources underneath the ground. They have diamonds, oil, whatever it is. So all you're doing is you're putting a big pump down into the ground and you're milking all those resources that come with your val land. Towing.com, valuable land in towing. Hair straightener, valuable land in, uh, in uh, hair straightening. So there you go. Um. Hopefully, I, I saw audio cracking. It might be rubbing against my jacket. Well, hopefully it's not. Last week, so I have phone in flight mode and everything else. So hopefully we have uh, no major audio issues. Game toys, fly crypto. Okay, so usually we go pretty slow here at the top. And then it speeds up as we get going. Mostly because the ones at the top are usually just a little bit better. So I like our values. I don't actually know what the heck I would do with that. Um, 
personally, what I was thinking with our values would be more of a, uh, a, a website where if you know your values, like your family's values, maybe it, it creates uh, like specialty products to put them up on like wall decals or, um, you know, different things that you can hang around your house. I, I have no idea. That, that's a little bit out there, but I, I love values. I love knowing values. Uh, so crowd me weird domain names. So as you'll see, most of these are very much, uh, <laughs> it, it, I'm guessing it's rubbing my jacket. Uh, I'll try to be less animated. It breaks my heart to stand here still. I like the move. Personal strategy, eco funeral, tree finder. And, okay. Um, I mean, tree finder. You can, of course, build a search engine to find certain kinds of trees, uh, I guess. Site setup. Site setup. Let's see what this one is. Okay, so this one ends in seven days. Uh, you know, so why am I looking at the site setup? Site setup.com. Uh, well, I don't know. We're getting ready to launch our new feature. Well, it is launched over on towing.com, which is uh, something that allows people to set up free websites. So site setup. No, no. Why you would want that domain name for what we've done, but maybe I'll mess with that. A smart city. Pizza and beer. For your chili ad, <laughs> Walter. So I posted, I, I have a, over on my uh, Twitter account, uh, I have a sign that's going to be that we're using at. Uh, I have a sign that we're using at the trade show this week. It's free websites, and uh, everybody's like, "What? Why are there chilies? There's chili peppers online?" And the answer was, uh, I took a photo, and I needed to be popping up out from behind something to use that photo. So I had a background that had a chili pepper on it, and I just used it. Sometimes there's. Uh, Genius reasons for things. Other times, it's what was around. I was up against a printing deadline, so I just had to do it. So, there we go. But yeah, definitely not offering chili sauce. I don't like product. I don't like. I don't want to be in the product business. And the idea of selling a food, pros, a food product is definitely a no no go for Drew. Okay. Well, here's where, as you can see, this is interesting. They've made a change now. With purple highlights if you have it uh, highlighted. So thank you gifts.com. This is one I wanted to make sure to bring to you. Uh, I love this domain name. Uh, thank you gifts.com. We'll go diving into it here. Uh, as you might imagine, if you're looking for a domain name, you're looking for the best possible domain name for your company that, uh, you know, handles thank you gifts. That might possibly be the best possible domain, maybe. $37 currently. This will be the kind of domain name, even though it's three words, which usually I kind of avoid three-word domain names. Uh, this is the kind of, you know, like, people say, it. thank you, gifts. Thank you, gift. Thank you, gifts. Uh, four days left on the domain, and let's go out to SpyFu and get an idea of what the keyword. I'm actually expecting this to be pretty reasonable. I'm guessing the singular is more... Uh, more frequent than, huh? not bad though. Okay, 4,200 people searching for towing gifts. As you can see right over my shoulder there. Uh, 4,200 people searching for thank you gifts. And as you can see, let me make myself smaller here. Uh, right in the middle, we got thank you gift, singular, another 2,000. So that means the plural, this domain name, thank you gifts, is the better domain name uh, keyword wise, people are searching for plural more. Now, the only thing is, is thank you gift ideas. That is singular. So here we go. This is part of why we do uh, the control F. So now that we did the, we did control F, thank you gifts, plural is what we search for. You'll see nothing's highlighted, right? If you, so if you get rid of the S, that is what pe people, the other words associated with this domain name are singular. So, uh, so you may have the better domain name for 
uh, the biggest keyword, but those people searching for thank you gift ideas, thank you gift baskets, thank you message for gift, like these other things are singular, which why does that matter? It mainly matters because you are going to have the best possible chance of showing up for exact match keyword searches. Everything outside of that is uh, just kind of bonus. It, it's something you can pursue, but exact match is gonna be your best choice. So in a perfect world, it's thank you gifts, ideas, but it's not that. So you can't count on that being something you pursue. Certainly go for it, why not? But I am hoping for big money. We got some pretty good stuff happening down here. This is what I was looking for. Uh, so 12, we have, oh, I'm too big. So right here, 12 advertisers paying to target this keyword. 12 advertisers. That means there's 12 companies out there putting money, trying to target the people looking for thank you gifts. 12 companies. Can you get a couple of them? Like if you own thankyougifts.com, could you be like, hey, I know you're out there bidding for this. And currently you're, you know, you're like, you're buried. You're number 10, number 11, number 12. Oh my goodness, nobody's clicking on you. But we know that you want to target thank you gifts, which we would love to be your partner on thankyougifts.com. Sounds like a like pretty straightforward. That is why I love seeing big numbers under the advertisers. It means, as I say, there's blood in the water. Like it's calling every shark around. They are trying to target this audience. And that is why advertisers, the higher the number, the better the domain name in many cases, not all cases. Uh, but then we see cost per click. It, again, the products lower that cost per click price, but still $1.51 is pretty darn good. It's better than what we saw on hair straighteners. I like this domain name. If it stays at a reasonable price, I will be bidding on that one for sure. Hopefully you will too. If you like it, let me know. I do not need it but I will not uh, pass on it either. So thankyougifts.com. That one's like, man, what a great domain. We've had some great domains today. We had, you know, what was it? Uh, instant gratification over on Dropcatch, Hair Straightener, Deal Buddy, Site Setup, Thank You Gifts, and wasn't there one more? There's one more. Hmm, don't remember it now. There you go, moving on. You're looking for a domain name just to buy for the sake of selling. Uh, Impacts.com. Assuming it's a trade, you need to check to make sure it's not somebody's uh, trademark. But uh, I've seen these sell for $2,000. Uh, so if you can get it for cheap, you can find somebody to buy it for $2,000. Construction toys, build time to drop. Um, what's the main name? I don't want to skip that one. So, let's say, uh, let's, I'm trying to, like, let's see, I don't want to necessarily look at chess, but we could look at chess. Like, what's the best chess domain name out there uh, would be chess.com. So, how would we uh, kind of figure out other domain names that would go with chess? Instead of coming to SpyFu, uh, yeah, I would come here and do a search for chess. So if you're targeting chess, let's come in and see what it is. So in this case, when you come in and do a search for your primary keyword, let's say you're looking for the best possible domain name for your industry. And when you are looking for any, like name your industry, what it is that you are most passionate about, ideally one single word, maybe two. Now, instead of just going looking for domain names, you can come into SpyFu, type in your keyword, and instead of using domain suggestion tools, now you're looking to get an idea of what this market looks like. So what we did was come in, did a search for chess, uh, chess online, uh, chess, uh, chess board, chess pieces, chess board I would like. I don't know what, who owns it. We'll go check that here in a moment. Uh, World Chess Championships, I think that's possibly what Matt was talking about. Uh, chess tournaments near me, uh, chess, that means chess tournaments, like, I actually like that one, 
Let's go see who owns. So one of the first things I do when I'm looking for a domain name is, actually, I guess you couldn't even see what the heck I was searching for. Uh, so I was looking at SpyFu, and I was looking down through this middle column here. Uh, we searched for chess on spyfu.com, and then we started to look through these different keywords here in the middle uh, that are keywords related to chess. And that is how we found chess tournaments. Now, you know, realistically, there's other ways to do this, but I like going and typing a domain name. It's a little risky when you come and do this here uh, over on, um, you know, directly, because sometimes there's funky stuff on domains. Okay, chesstournaments.com, which we saw here on SpyFu, uh, chess tournaments near me. Uh, has, what, 28,000 searches. So uh, we want to, whenever we see this here, this near me, we want the words at the beginning of it. So chess tournaments, that's what we want, chess tournaments, and now we can do the local search, build a website that does these uh, near me. So chess tournaments, uh, going over here, this is, so we typed in the domain name, took the risk, typed it directly in. It's a risky thing to do. Make sure you have your ad blocking and your uh, don't click on any crazy links, don't accept any downloads or anything like that because uh, there's bad stuff out there. In this case, it is, it's bad because this domain name is with Network Solutions. So in this case, it's with Network Solutions. Uh, you will need to, I'll just share a little uh, the inside of it, uh, network solution domains are done through Namejet and Snap Names. So I would want to come over here and do a back order. We talked about Snap Names domains, I believe it was last week or two weeks ago. Uh, so come in here, do a back order on this, and if the domain name is ever available, you would be notified. If it's ever coming up for auction or ever expired, it's going to go through the Snap Names Namejet auctions. Important to know, it will never, well, given right now, the domain name will ever, it won't go to GoDaddy auctions. You'll never see it there. You'll never see it on Dropcatch because it was with Network Solutions, it's going to go through a specific path which takes you to uh, Snap Names and Namejets. So I want to look here. You can try clicking on the who is here, but network solutions, well, we'll see. Uh, so who is is one of the little tricks. Uh, chances are if you work in domains, you're well familiar with what who is is, with what who is is. Who is is who owns the domain name? In many cases, the who is is a private thing. So I'm going to go do and search for uh, for chesstournaments.com and when you do this search you're going to see a bunch of stuff that may not make much sense to you uh, in this case uh, let's see here the expiration is 2025 uh, somebody named Aaron Robertson Robinson uh, owns it out of Illinois and this is a unusual circumstance in most cases domain names are hidden behind uh, like anonymous stuff. It's proxy. Uh, you can't actually contact the owner. Uh, but in this case, you can actually get this person's email address right through the who is and try to lame delegation.net. That's funny. So you can use the who is to try to get a hold of the owner. So what are you going to have to offer for this domain name? Uh, experience says you better start at probably high four figures, probably five figures. Why? Why would you have to pay so much money for this domain name? Well, you are buying from a private party, uh, a private party. So this is just somebody that's like sitting on their couch, playing a game of chess online or whatever else. They own the domain name. They already, obviously already have it renewed all the way out to 2025. No need to sell it. Cost them ten dollars, twenty dollars, thirty-five dollars a year to renew it. And a lot of people think, uh, "Oh, yeah, we'll just it's, it's worth a couple hundred bucks. I'll save them the money or whatever." Like, no, no, it's not how it works. Like, this is their land on the internet, and it has value uh, to them. And in most cases, the owner knows 
that the domain name has value. Like, don't be a predator. Don't be somebody that's out there trying to be like, oh, I'm like, I'll pay you two hundred dollars for it. We just saw this domain name has thousands of searches for it, and uh, well, it's it's going to be worth something. May have jumped the gun actually. Now that I think you're about so twenty eight thousand searches. Uh, so here's what I want to do. It, it occurred to me I've not looked the actual keywords up directly, so I shouldn't be assigning a value quite yet, and that's why. Okay, so apologies. Rewind me saying that I think it's high four figures, low five figures. That may be the case. So. Uh, but you can see churchchesstournaments.com, 1,300 exact match searches. Uh, let's see if there's any money behind it. Very little. Uh, not so not so valuable anymore. So I'm glad we did that so I didn't give off too much bad advice. You want to know the numbers behind the domain name. Now, here's what I, a lot of people ask me as they know I'm in domain names. They're like, hey, this person owns this domain name. How do I go about getting it? Uh, what should I offer for it? And here's the truth, okay? I don't sell a domain name for like less than $1,200. Like I don't care if it's some domain name I accidentally rented or registered. I don't sell it for less than $1,200. Why? Because it's a freaking pain in the butt to transfer a domain name and push it and deal with the payment and all that stuff. Like, like. I would rather let the domain name delete and go to somebody else and avoid it. That's just me. I'm just a weirdo. I buy them to develop them. I prefer them to be in the hands of somebody to develop them. With that said, if you're looking to get a domain name that you specifically want, don't offer. Like, if it's worth taking the time to look it up, to find somebody to buy the domain name, to find the owner, don't go and offer them a couple hundred dollars. Like, it, it's it's going to be, it, if you're willing to do the effort, offer them more. You probably want to get to at least four figures to make an offer on a domain name. There are exceptions. Uh, for example, if the domain name's uh, old development or something, like, especially if you can say, hey, I see you're, you're passionate about this. I am too. Would you take 800 bucks? Uh, and I want to develop it. Assuming you are going to develop it, don't don't be using tricks just to trick people. I, come on, we're we're humans. Let's let's do a good job of being human. I, I like to think that uh, we can do a good job. Uh, anyhow, I don't I don't like don't don't be a scammer. Don't don't be out like let's add to the world. Uh, so long story short, if you value it, chances are other people do. Part of why I always say like a four-figure offer, they've probably gotten a, hundreds of automated offers of $100, $200, or want to make you a serious offer, get back to me and let you're willing to sell. Those emails come through, especially with you guys that are email addresses and who is. They're seeing those things every day. Trust me, I know they get those emails thousands a day. So you you have to stand out. If you're going to stand out, it's going to require you to make a specific offer. Make it easy for them to transact with you. What is your offer? How would you go about doing it? Like when I'm making an offer on the domain, name, it is, uh, you know, here's what we're looking to do with it. Here's the price that I'm going to pay. Here's what we'll continue. So depending on the price, it's boom. Here, here's uh, $3,000 for the, you know, here's our offer. Uh, in most cases, I will say I can complete the transaction today if you can take a credit card. Otherwise, we will uh, do an escrow. I'm okay with escrow. I'll pay the fees. Just pay the fees. Don't let uh, a couple hundred bucks uh, wig out like my audio says it is. So the key thing is, though, uh, Sorry, audio issues makes me, uh, it takes my brain away. Uh, you want to make a solid offer to get their attention and show them how easy it is to turn a domain name into money. There's been times that if I'm making a, like a $20,000 offer on a domain name, 
I'll, I'll say things like, you know, so if you're looking for a new car or something, uh, you can turn this domain name into a new car. You know, paint, so a lot of times money isn't as important as what the money can do for somebody. So if you can paint that picture, I highly recommend you do it uh, in, the, um, in the email. So uh, I, I've done that one quite a bit and had quite success with taking like, hey, we're offering 20,000, like I've, like, uh, when we've made offers for, you know, a hundred some thousand dollars, uh, we've, we've said, hey, maybe you need a new house. Want to put a new addition on your house? Something like that. Like, turn this domain name into a new addition on your house. Here's $80,000 or something like that. Like, you, like, now they're like, ooh, I have, I am, I've been wanting to do a new bathroom in my house or something. Make sense? Like, that's uh, funny matter to most of us a lot less than what uh, 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 what we want is to use that money uh, for something beneficial right like a new car a, a vacation uh, vacations when I basically there you go I, I've definitely used vacation as, as well uh, let me know you is still having issues I don't really there's nothing I can necessarily change but uh, if it's still wigging let me know I can try changing mics or go to the just laptop. Good information. It, like, especially that idea of uh, if you're making an offer, make an offer of, hey, maybe you're looking for a new addition to your house, domain name, some kind of tangible thing, then the amount of money. Uh, that's an important, uh, uh, important tip that I would recommend to you. Uh, who am I to be making, like, I've bought, heck, Toen.com I bought uh, as a cash offer. That one was a little bit different. I was a 20-something-year-old kid, had no clue what the heck I was doing, and uh, luckily the offer was good enough. Uh, but uh, when we bought TruckRepair.com, I believe we paid like eighty or $90,000 for TruckRepair.com. I definitely used... Uh, the guy said he was getting ready for retirement or was ever, getting ready for retirement or something. And I was like, boom, well, I'm guessing for uh, how about you let me buy this domain name and uh, you can, you know, go get a, a good car or something to uh, and we'll close eighty thousand dollars. We'll pay the escrow fees. Boom. Uh, all done. So. Uh, yeah. Wedding University. I'm going to click on that one about WeddingConference.com just a few weeks ago. Kind of on accident. It was an act. It like wasn't really interested in it. Wedding University. Okay. Twelve dollars currently. Three dollars or three days left on the domain auction. I think we are to the point that we are going to do page down a couple more times, a summary, and then I'm going out stuff outs to here. Uh, let me just mention that next week will be a remote show. I will be in Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, we will be on the other side of this trade show. Uh, I will be doing the show from Baltimore. I don't know what to expect. I, I don't know what to tell you to expect. It may be me and a laptop. We haven't done that in a while, but that may be what you get next week. One more. Okay, we're down to the bottom of the list. And Honey Boo. Hey, Honey Boo. <laughs> okay. Uh, so there we go. Let's, uh, let's run down through the summary real quick. Let me get back over here. Okay, well, we looked over on Dropcatch. We found instantgratification.com, instantgratification.com, ending tomorrow, $360 currently uh, for that one. Love this one to follow it up with, hairstraightener.com. Six days left on the auction, $120 currently. Uh, that one had some good searches. Uh, what is it, 7,800 searches for like a hair straightener or something? Yeah, not bad. Uh, DealBuddy.com, just for the fun of it, $650. I like it if you're looking for a brandable. Uh, outside of that, though, it's something. Site setup was on top of my mind. Ends in seven days, $35 for this one. I just like it because we're getting ready to launch our, well, we just launched our uh, free websites for towing companies. So thankyougifts.com, a fun one. I like this one especially because 
this is one of those things where it's like everybody wants to send out good thank you cards, thank you gifts, uh, but realistically, at least for me, I'm not a gift giver. I suck at it, and I would love to have a resource to go to, somebody that can advise me and even have curated good thank you gifts that I can send out different price points and things. Basically, develop thank you gifts for people like me who suck at giving gifts. Uh, great go domain name, had a good search volume, ends in four days, $37 currently. These will go for more than this. So these, these prices are the, the, the starting. Wedding University, $12 currently, ends in three days. Who knows if it's going to sell? I don't know if it's much, worth much. I mean, I'll pay, I'll buy it at buyout, uh, meaning I'll pay probably 50 bucks for it. Outside of that, that I'll mess with it. But it showed up on the show, so I wanted to summarize it. I want to say there were some other domain names uh, that I showed, but they're not showing up right now, so we're moving on. And we showed, talked about buying possibly uh, chesstournament.com, looking through the who is and researching how to find that, and then how I would go about making the offer. Uh, but ultimately, when it comes to that stuff, pay money. Pay big money. Like you don't don't go after you don't you don't try to buy somebody's real estate uh, for for cheap stuff. Uh, the you know college students nobody sells to you because you're a college student. It's always one of the jokes. So okay, well there we go. I will be in Baltimore next week for next week's show, and uh, I appreciate you joining me here. Domain to profit. <sighs> we got some good ones. I like it. Trying to remember if there's anything else I need to make sure I get out there. No? Well, thanks for joining me. Make sure you've liked and subscribed. I appreciate you nerding out over domain names with me. Domain names that we can build, add value to the world, get value for ourselves, and, yeah, make some money. So there we go. Domain to Profit, I'm Drew Wash. See you next week, 3 p.m.